Good morning. It is 10.30 on a random Thursday. Welcome to a little day in my life. Having my first coffee of the day. I woke up a bit late. I slept in. This vlog is going to be kind of very random because I have no plans for it. But today is a very like get a lot of content done, batched and scheduled and backed up. I want to film a bunch of reels and get them edited and like drafted. And other than that, nothing much i just have one class in the evening have a lot of time i kind of want to go to a coffee shop but not nothing is confirmed yet also this vlog is going to be very chill i don't even know right now whether it's going to go live or not because yeah we'll discuss a lot of things as well because i've been meaning to do like a chatty vlog and talk a lot about everything that's been going on over here which I have not done in a while like the last vlog I filmed was about like three weeks back and I still have to edit it so by the time it gets posted it will be like four weeks back I'm gonna watch an episode or so of Avatar The Last Airbender I re I started it like two days ago I'm I'm still on season one I'm close to finishing it I'm not really like watching watching like sitting down and like immersing myself in it which is kind of like the bad move I'm just playing it on while I'm like doing chores or like while I'm editing or stuff so yeah I'm gonna watch an episode and I'll talk to you guys later hi it's like a few hours later if there's noise in the background just please deal with it because I just can't I can't deal with it so I'm gonna have to ask you guys to deal with it okay I'm looking very rough I'm looking very rough my hair needs like a full deep cleanse with the scalp scrub and everything we're gonna do that today anyways that that is not the point of this segment we are doing a little book unboxing i've been doing a lot of unboxing reels on my bookstagram my instagram which is the mindless reads which i am going to change to the mindless mess very soon so if you can't find it at the mindless reads just check out the mindless mess first up we have from pan macmillan Over here we have The Heart Asks Pleasure First by Karuna Ezra Parekh. She's an Indian author and I don't usually read that much of Indian authors and Indian fiction because I don't really like it. I don't know why. I've heard really good things about it. It's like a literary romance. It's set in the UK in Wales but the main characters are Indian and Pakistani. So it's like a forbidden romance of sorts. And I've heard really good things about this one. The writing in this is supposed to be really, really good. I'm very excited to read this. And we also have a book which came in yesterday, which was kind of like a surprise for me. Ooh, it's so pretty. It is so pretty. Butter by Asako Yuzuki. Heard so many good things about this book. It's a Japanese fiction translated by Polly Barton. It's about... Uh, it's about a gourmet cook, Manako Kai Kaji, who is also a serial killer. Asako Yuzuki's Butter, translated by Polly Barton, is a vivid, unsettling exploration of misogyny, obsession, romance, and the transgressive pleasure of food in Japan. I have been hearing so many good things about this book because like it's very literary type of book and there's a lot of social commentary as well as the plot of it is amazing like it has it all is what everybody is saying so i'm very excited to read this asap and also look at the cover like the yellow thing for butter then there's a cow but there's a serial killer like blood stains even the spine of it is so cute even the back like the whole aesthetic of this book it's like very like anime very like comic type of like look at this artwork it's so pretty so incredibly excited to read this i'm gonna read this very 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 soon i also have this one i unboxed this in a reel but i won't show them to you guys now i'm gonna make a book haul in the next few weeks so all of these are going to be like combined into that one so keep an eye out on that as i said like i want to film the cozy mystery wrap up i need to sit down and outline that entire video just like what points i wanted to say because it's been like almost like a month and a half since i started reading cozy mystery so the first books i read i'm kind of like forgetting a little bit so i need to go back and remember and just look at my instagram reviews at my goodreads reviews and just like 
make like a proper outline i think so i need like a little small shower because i am looking ugly i filmed my first ever brand collab reel for instagram like a two, day, two days ago i need to get on with editing it because i'm supposed to post it over the weekend so yeah i'm gonna head over and do that and if you're watching this i know that you you guys are like my ogs because you watch the vlogs and just like support the collab so that i get more in the future and yeah <laughs> a little bit we've been kind of in a very frustrating mode with youtube for the last entire month because i was just taking so much efforts but i was not seeing the rewards that i wanted to and just like i was kind of falling out of love with youtube like i was not getting inspired to film to edit and whatnot so i decided to take a little bit of a break not like a break break in the sense but i had a bunch of videos filmed so i was just editing as i found the time and Afterwards, I just realized that, you know what, like I need a little bit of a change when it comes to YouTube. I've been posting like almost twice a week for the last like two, three years. For the next few months, I think so I'm going to downgrade to one video a week. That way I can take a lot more efforts on that video and just like make better content because I just don't want to burn myself out. I'm going to give YouTube the effort like directly proportional to the re rewards that i get L like now i know that the rewards are like based on the video that i post and the, like what not like whatever just like over here in here i'm not getting the rewards that i want to get from youtube so that's why i am taking a step back maybe like like if you are into manifestation and whatnot like you know this thing called detachment like i've been too obsessed over making youtube my full-time thing like I just need to take a little step back. I also had like this epiphany, if you could say, that I wanna be a full-time content creator. It does not necessarily have to be YouTube. And, and that just like that realization kind of like freed me up a lot. So like I'm just focusing on making content, whether it be YouTube or be it Instagram. And honestly, like ever since I had like that epiphany, I'm like completely detached from YouTube per se, like the money coming from YouTube and whatnot. I don't know what this rat was about. But also like me getting detached from YouTube like has kind of like brought back my creativity and my like want to make videos honestly. So that's why like this impulse vlog which I'm filming is the result of that. So for the next few months, at least like five, six months, I'll be posting one video a week and you'll obviously get like sit down bonus videos every now and then, like maybe a wrap up thrown in here or there and maybe just like sit down YouTube tags, recommendations and whatnot. Like you'll be getting bonus videos every now and then, but those are not promised, not planned. And so i'll be posting a lot on instagram which i've been doing for the last few months and i'm seeing amazing results over there so obviously like it's very logical and it's very like natural for me to focus a lot more on the platform which i'm getting a lot more validation from i thought i'll be sitting down and doing like a bigger chat and explaining things and stuff but i just realized like i don't need to explain each and everything that i that goes in my head like you guys can fill in the blanks put the connect the dots and just like get to where I come from because I've spoken so much about this over the last few years that you guys 
know everything like everything that I want from YouTube at this point and I just need a little step back for my own mental health and that is what I'm going to do I'm going to be focusing a lot more on reading and just doing things that make me happy and not being like so obsessed over YouTube that is about that. Literally I started filming this vlog and I'm already so happy with the way it's turning out. Like I'm not focusing on making montages or I'm just I'm just letting what is here, what is here come out. And I'm having fun. I wish I had vlogged on Monday because I met Swati who is my best friend from Bookstagram and we had so much fun and we just got together for like a few hours. She came from Chennai to Pune for some work. So I just like made her meet me and we had a lot of fun and that is that like that is going to be like the thing which like makes me happy for the next few days yeah i need to get back to work so i'll see you guys soon hi it is 3 19 right now i kind of want to go and go to blue tokai and get a cafe and the last time i was there i saw these croissants and they were just so fucking just like delicious crumptious like I want to get each and every one of them but I did not do that I got like two coffees back to back last time so I was like you know what I think the next time we go you can get a croissant and it's been like two weeks since I've been to Blue Takai two or three weeks I kind of want to go to Blue Takai today and get a coffee and a croissant just sit and edit and read and whatnot it is on my way to my evening class so I was thinking that I'll go early i'll leave like two three hours early i'll get like one and a half to two hours at the cafe and then i can go to the do, go to my evening class but now i'm thinking like i did like a bunch of spending the last few days so do i be financially smart and not spend today like unnecessarily i can just literally sit here at home and edit my video what to do? Questions, questions. My hair is not cooperating. Still watching Avatar The Last Airbender, um, like on the last episode of the first season. Loving it so far. Although I do think that if I was a bit younger, like if I was a kid when I watched it, I would have loved it like even more, like to the level to which everybody else loves. It does play into the fact that I'm 24 and it does seem a bit childish for me right now. Everything is just moving too quickly. It's like a book long material. So I was hoping for like a bit more build up and just like a bit more tension a little bit. Like each episode a lot happens and it like happens in 23-24 minutes. So if the if the episodes were like about an hour long it would have given like a lot of time to build the tension and the momentum i am having a mango it's mango season i am so excited i'm so happy about it i've not had that many mangoes so far this year i don't know why i don't know how like i've had mangoes if it makes sense sorry if the knife is triggering but i've not had as much as i would like to I'm sitting in bed and having this mango which is very bad. The best way to eat a mango is to just peel it completely and then just like bite into it. Do I lick my hand? Yes, I am going to. Just let me cover up the lens. Mm. It's literally no fruit better than mango like god universe creator higher power whatever made made a mango and i was like how will i ever top it i'm sorry if anyone doesn't love mangoes you're weird and i just can't like i can't trust you ever so good like can you guys see the smile on my face i am just like eating a mango is it is just so i love it anyways as i was saying what i was saying i was not saying anything 
uh, I, I got done outlining the video but it is now like 5 15 p.m. so it's way too late for me to film it because the kids will start to play and it's just going to get very noisy I recently got a new mocha pot from Something's Brewing. It's like a coffee marketplace where you can get like new equipment, try out new coffees. They sent me a few sample packs as well. And it's like a one-stop shop for all of your coffee needs. And I'm going to use a new mocha pot. My old one is right over here. Look at it, the difference. This is a big upgrade and I am just so happy. It's also very black and all beautiful. Well, the coffee is brewing. I just want to say, if you guys want to upgrade your coffee setup or just try out new coffee blends, coffee companies, you can go to somethingsbrewing.com and use the code The Mindless Mess for an extra discount at checkout. Mm -hmm. 